Good morning, one and all. Um, today we are going to discuss about the response of high pass RC circuit for step input. In the previous class, we have discussed about the transfer function of high pass RC circuit. That is the transfer function of that circuit, HP RC circuit. And now for that circuit, now we are going to apply a non sinusoidal signal that is step signal as an input to this HP RC circuit. And now we will see how the output waveform will be present. Okay, how it will change it wave shape at the output. Okay, this is the circuit diagram of HP RC circuit the capacitor C and resistor R and we are applying the input at here and we are collecting the output across the resistor. Here the input we are applying is the step signal. It is a step signal. The step signal equation, mathematical equation is V input equal to V volts, the amplitude V volts for T equal to 0 and greater than 0 it is V volts and T is less than 0 it is represented as 0 ok. So this mathematical representation of this step signal V input of T equal to V into U of T ok. This is the mathematical representation of the input equation which is applying as an input to the HP RC circuit and we will change see how the output signal will be present ok. Already we all know the transfer function of the circuit HPRC in the previous session. HPRC transfer function is S tau by 1 plus S tau. We all know that. We will see how it will be implemented here. Okay. Now apply Laplace transform to this input equation. Okay. Now apply Laplace transform to this input equation P input of T. Okay. So Applying Laplace transform, apply Laplace transform to input equation V input of tree. Then it is represented as, then it is represented as V input of S. That means applying transfer Laplace transform means converting the time domain into S domain. Okay. V input of S. Here we are converting from time domain to S domain. V input of S equal to V into 1 by S. In the time domain, we all know the basic formulas the how to convert the time domain to Laplace using Laplace transform, how, how we can convert the time domain into S domain. The U of T in time domain is converted into la S domain as 1 by S. U of T equal to 1 by S. We can represent like this. So here V into U, V into 1 by S. So this is equal to V by S. The V input of S equal to V by S. Make it as equation 1. Okay. We know that. We already know that transfer function transfer function of HPRC is H of S equal to what do you know H of S equal to S tau by 1 plus S tau we have solved this transfer function in the previous class just go through once again ok if you have any doubt and make it as equation 2. So we know the input function and we know the input 1 and the uh, transfer function of the circuit. Now we can calculate the output equation how it will be represented ok. So the V output of S equal to V input of S it is represented as V input of S into H of S using the formula since we know that H of S equal to V out of S by V input of S. Using this formula we rearranged this one. V out of S equal to V input of S into H of S. Now substitute equation 1 and equation 2 in the above formula. In above formula ok here now 
v out of s equal to v by s into s tau by 1 plus s tau. Okay. v out of s equal to v by s into s tau by 1 plus s tau. Now s and s cancel and it is represented as v into tau by 1 plus s tau. v out of s equal to <coughs> excuse me v into tau by 1 plus s into tau. <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Now Again, we have to convert in S domain to time domain. So, now we have to apply inverse Laplace transform. Okay. Up now, apply inverse Laplace transform. Now, we have to apply inverse Laplace transform to output equation. Okay. Then, it is represented as v out of t equal to this s domain is converted into time domain using inverse laplace transform just go through the basic formulas to convert from time domain to s domains okay then only it is easy for you to go uh, study this one v out of t equal to v into this one 1 by 1 s tau we can represent it as e into e power of minus t by tau this is the output equation of the step signal passing through a HPRC circuit. Okay. This is the output equation for a step signal when it is passing through the HPRC circuit. Now we will see how the graphically it is represented. Okay. If t equal to 0, suppose, see here, this is the output one. This is the output waveform we are going to draw. Okay. X axis is time domain and Y axis is output. If suppose if T equal to 0, then V out of T equal to how much? V into E power of 0 that is equal to V. V out of T equal to 0 that is at t equal to 0, the output equal to v volts. Okay, the output equal to v volts. Similarly, if t equal to infinity, then v out of t equal to v into e power of minus infinity. That is, V output of t equal to 0. As we know that e power of minus infinity equal to 0. So, at the time period is as it is going to infinity, the value is going to be 0. By substituting all the points, the graph will be represented like this. Okay. But the input signal should have to present like this. At the output, the signal shape will be changing like this. This is the output representation of a step signal at the output of after passing through a HPRC circuit. Okay. Understand what I am saying? Once again, I will revise what I said. Okay. The response of HPRC circuit, the response of HPRC circuit for for step input. We are going to study for step input. Okay. Here we will see that the step input. Here this is the HPRC circuit. For this HPRC circuit we are applying the step input and how it will represent the output expression. Now write the expression for the input equation. Now apply the Laplace transform and convert this time domain into s domain and we already know the transfer function as h of s and by knowing of input and our transfer function we can calculate v out of s equal to v input of s into and h of s so solving all these we get the output expression as v out of t v out of t equal to v into e power of minus t by tau now substituting t values as from the graph we can show that but for substituting different values of t we can calculate the output expression then the graph will be represented like this okay 
So now you understand how the response of HPRC circuit for a step input is represent when a step input is given. Okay, thank you.